Hello, everyone. My name is Jacob Fortung. I'm the host of this podcast, Do Us Within Emerging Markets. And I, I just want to share my experience with uh, using Anchor so far. So I, when the pandemic started, I, I thought about starting a podcast. And the whole idea was to bring in some really amazing folks that are doing some great work in their respective industries within the emerging markets. And the Anchor platform really helped me get the word out there and also just make it a lot easier for me to invite the guest and, and just share the amazing um, experiences they've had and the amazing work they're doing in their respective industries within the emerging markets. So um, it's pretty fun. Um, you don't even worry about the technical part of uh, making the podcast. You actually just focus more on the content and Anchor has done it really well for me. So I will highly encourage anybody who is trying to start a podcast to uh, try to use uh, uh, just check out Anchor, and I think you won't regret it. I'm not a technical person, uh, but you know, if you listen to these episodes that I've been been publishing so far, you know, it's, it seems like you know I, I know what, uh, the technical part of it. But you know, Anchor helps you take care of the the technical part, and you just focus on the content. So uh, feel free to check it out. I highly encourage you won't uh, you won't uh, regret it. And you know, it's it's right there. You don't pay anything. So. Um, you know, in, in times like this, I think starting a podcast and getting the word out there, irrespective of what you're doing, will be a really great experience. So thank you guys for listening to my episodes. Please check out uh, Anchor and you you will have a great time. So uh, cheers, guys, and see you guys next next episode. Thanks. Thank you, Jacob. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for um, tuning in to this podcast. My name is Jacob, the host of uh, Doers Within Emerging Markets, Time for Emerging Markets. And I'm here uh, with uh, Luis. Uh, Luis is uh, um, just an amazing um, individual I came across. And uh, he's doing some really great work in Peru. And I'll just let him explain what he does. and. But first, I'd like to ask uh, ask him um, a little bit about himself, and we can get the conversation going. So, Luis, welcome, and please uh, just tell us, uh, you know, uh, a little bit about yourself, uh, um, you know, and where you grew up as a start. Okay, yeah, go. So, thanks a lot for for the time, for the space. The things that you are doing are great is all the entrepreneur things. Um, well, uh, you know my name, uh, I'm Luis Maravillan, uh, 35 years old. I'm an industrial engineering. I've been in the core se sector for about 14 years, and specifically in the real estate sector and construction. And mm -hmm. that's the reason why I, I know uh, Martin and Aldo. That's very cool. Uh, uh -huh. I, I've been in this sector for about uh, five, uh, eight years, mm -hmm. and I start uh, with the, all this entrepreneurial stuff uh, in, in twenty fourteen. I think yes. Mm -hmm. I start with a tourist business that wasn't a really good uh, business, so I sold. Uh, to a cousin, it was just a little business. It was about the uh, uh, transport people. Mm, uh, since uh, since then, I've been uh, working in some some of my stops. Uh, I was studying between two. To say it's a, a non profit association. Uh, um, that, that, that's it. That's, that's pretty cool. Thanks, thanks for, for, for giving us uh, just a background, your uh, professional background. And I really appreciate that. Um, it's something that you know, kind of just brings to light where you came from in terms of your professional development to where you are at the moment. 
Um, so uh, just please uh, share with us, um, you know, what influenced you to start PropTech Association of Peru, right? Uh, can you talk a little bit about this association and just elaborate more on the opportunities that exist within this association? Yes, uh, the Peru PropTech Association is a nonprofit association that gathers all the startups from the real estate and construction industry. Mm -hmm. uh, where our purpose is to re represent and strengthen the pillars of growth of the prop tech industry. Mm -hmm. uh, the vision that, that we want to share is to make Peru the most relevant prop tech hub in Latin America. Mm -hmm. uh, this pillar I just mentioned are therefore uh, regulation, networking, economic capital, and business. Uh, regulation, uh, we, will, we want to promote a legal framework uh, that encourages uh, development and investment in the sector. Uh, networking, uh, we want to at attract key stakeholders in seeking synergies between academy, I'm talking about educational institutions such as universities and technical and career college as well. Uh, corporate, I'm talking about large companies, uh, government, and new product, new products. Mm -hmm. uh, economic capital, the third pillar is uh, we want to attract the interest of investors to bet on the sector. Um, business, uh, the last but not the least, uh, we want to uh, give a continuous exposure of the association for the launch of new businesses with uh, key stakeholders. We want to empower the these uh, startups from this sector. Mm -hmm. uh, these people, uh, well, they, they are developing they developing new technologies right now, uh, trying new methods, doing things differently. Uh, well, let's let's under, uh, understand technology uh, as the application of new process to solve a problem. Okay. Uh, so here's the thing: uh, what they the, what they want. Uh, it is in terms of financing uh, from the government, they want clear and legal framework that facilitates uh, these types of initiatives. Uh, here, here are two important topics. Uh, it, these two de details, they're very important to, to understand the, the context. Uh, in Peru, there is a profound housing deficit compared to our peers in Latin America. Uh, this is from the point of view of this real estate sector. And there is a gap in infrastructure of more than $100,000 million. Mm -hmm. This leaves us in a position where there is only an option to grow and grow, uh, generating opportunities for all all those interests in participating participate so that's it the association and something what we're doing that, that's amazing that's amazing thanks for giving a, a a very elaborate uh explanation of that and just thank you so much for giving you know why it exists and you know kind of the the, the problem uh, or the challenge if i may say on that, um, just give or going back a little bit, like who uh, who influenced you to get on this path, right, and to be part of you know a building an association like this? What, what were the people along the way that helped you, inspired you to get to to where you are now? Uh, well, I, I'm not politician or. Well, maybe we are politicians in some way, but I mean that through this association, we want to raise our voice, the voice uh, for these startups. Uh, first gathering and build a community to give force uh, to that voice. Second, we want to put us in the map uh, for the government, core investor. So uh, that's why we are doing this. Uh, the need to 
to to make change. Mm -hmm. That's a very stimulate. Mm -hmm. Thanks for sharing that. Um, and let's just go into uh, Qatar innovation. Um, what is what, what is Qatar innovation, and you know what is? Uh, can you just you know talk a little bit about that and uh, elaborate on maybe some of the startups? Uh, no, especially on Qatar innovation. Just give us an idea what of what that is. Qatar Qatar innovation. I think that this uh, misunderstood. Uh, maybe you are referring to Altoke. Yes, Katoke, I think. Yeah, yeah. Ah, Katai. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yes. Sorry about that. Well, uh, well, Altoke is a, right now we're launching launching Altoke. Altoke mm -hmm. is a marketplace for local business uh, with great focus in developing the loyalty of uh, their clients. Uh, well, this is Altoke, but uh, also we're we're working with uh, another colleagues in uh, Coven. And this is a, a virtual collect collector manager for real estate companies. And with some colleagues from, from Europe, some, some friends, we are developing a, a star called Flare Trip. This, this app is a mix, uh, something similar to Tinder with local trips and experiences. Uh, and well, on, on the other hand, uh, uh, we are in the process of, cr of creating a, an association for touring startups. This is something like Peru PropTech, but this this is about the touring sector. Mm -hmm. uh, uh -huh. And this is some, some of the things that I'm doing right now. I'll talking is, is one of them. Okay. Uh, I'll talk is, I, I think is it's in a different uh, uh, a cycle is is more mature than than, than the other ones, and, and also Peru Peru Proptic. Also, we we are uh, we are uh, having some uh, uh, good thing with this. Uh, we have right now 20, 30 associations, and uh, and and that, that's it. Mm, that's that's great. Uh, thanks for for yeah giving more uh, background of early. Um, so, just in general, what, what is your um, uh, understanding? Or if someone wants to start a business in Peru, what is the climate like? What will you? Uh, uh, what's the advice will you will you give someone who wants to start a um, or wants to get involved in real estate in Peru? What what will be some of the pointers or guidelines you would like to share with that person? I don't know. Let's talk about uh, before uh, about the opportunities. Sure. Uh, because of these opportunities is why uh, uh, start all these these uh, startups to appear. No, uh, I think that if uh, someone want to find an opportunity, first first of all, they they want to they have to find a problem. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, in, in Peru is a country with a significant, uh, diverse, and profound amount of problems. Mm -hmm. So opportunities to grow are just the, you say, the tip of the of the, of the iceberg. Uh, and here's my endless list of opportunities in Peru will begin. Peru is like a mega diverse country with the. Uh, with people with a with more potential as any other country as well, uh, with an Asian cultural legacy, um, above above all, with great spirit to succeed. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, that, that's that's important to know. Uh, endless opportunities, uh, uh, open you no know, problems can lead to that. Um, and, and just to kind of get along here. Um, I think one of the things that this podcast is trying to share is, you know, people uh, is trying to give, uh, um, you know, it's trying to be a platform where people can come and learn about ways in which people can um, know more about people like, you know, you and how they can maximize, uh, expand your horizon um, in, in emerging markets in general. 
So just to get along with that, what do you think is the future of, or what do you think the future of payroll in terms of, of you know, just entrepreneurship in general, innovation in general, and yes, a uh, well, uh, uh, the the future the future is uh, closely linked uh, to politics. Mm -hmm. Uh, that because uh, they are the ones uh, who set the rules. So uh, we speak a lot of work, but we all know that the particularity of the people of these emerging countries is courage, hard work, and the desire to, to excel. Uh, so sometimes politics takes second place. But the, the politics, I think that that's the issue. The, the, these people who 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 is in, in uh, sit, sitting in, in in this place, uh, making the rules, making the the how do you say the the, the rules so so we can play. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, that's 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 interesting, and uh, I think yeah, it, it kind of makes sense, right? Um, something that people should be aware of. And just just to kind of um, close it up here, I know uh, PropTech is an association that <clears throat> you have been involved with. What is um, any uh, closing arguments you will give um, for people to be a part of the association and how they should get involved? Or if uh, or oh. how to share people should be able to connect uh, with that association if need be and add value to what the association is doing or how people can benefit from the association? Oh, well, uh, first of all, uh, uh, why, why, well, the question is why you why have to be part of, of an association? Uh, uh, Peru, uh, well, definitely, uh, we are not in Sweden or Switzerland where you have strong institutions. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. uh, yes. So you, in, in this, uh, in our countries, we have to get together and look, looking for uh, scale economies. Mm -hmm. So it's important uh, in, I think, in our countries to be part of these kind of associations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's it. Uh, that makes sense. I I think that they they can uh, uh, they can benefit the from our the thing we want to to to, to make the, uh, the that this uh, about the relation this all these uh, legal stops and the networking is important for them uh, be connect with everyone in the ecosystem, uh, they are going to be able to receive uh, some, no financing help, but they are going to be in a position, uh, they are going to receive some kind of exposure to different kind of uh, investors. Uh, and they are going to make synergies with the different kind and uh, uh, a lot of uh, alliance that we are making with, for example, universities. We are talking right now with the top five universities who we are uh, uh, making the alliance with the top uh, companies in the real estate uh, sector and the construction sector. So this association is, uh, 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 they are going to gain a high degree of exposure, I think so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks for the brace on that. So, uh, but for people to find out about the association, did they reach out to you? Is it on LinkedIn or is it on Facebook? How people who are interested, or oh, people who you think will, will benefit from this, how can they find you or find the association? Well, they can find us in 
link and link. We are we have we have a, a web page that is uh, pedoproptech.com. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, those are the uh, two two places in where they can find us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mm -hmm. Yes, that's great. That's great. Um, so, um, any any last words of you know your you know about you about the association that you'd like to share with the audience? I think uh, based on my interview with uh, Martin and uh, Manuel, I there's some people from Peru that listen to this podcast. So, any uh, words you'd like to share? Uh, last minute words you'd like to share and, um, with the audience. Sure. Uh, well, Peru is a well, our country is uh, emerging markets. Mm -hmm. They they are kind of different. They they need uh, uh, different skills because I like I like I said is is a. Uh, it's, it's challenging to be part of, of these uh, markets. Uh, but, uh, like I said, uh, the, the, people, the people of these emerging markets uh, like hard work uh, and have a great desire to, to excel. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I'm just a regular guy who who wants to put a, a grain of sand in the society I live in. And I do because I can. And I want to other people that could make this thing. Now, no, because they have to. Mm -hmm. Instead, because they, 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 they can. And I think that that's a way to help to our society. I think this is, this is about a be conscious, conscious with our context. Where, 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 where are we uh, stand up? Mm -hmm. uh, so my 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 advice will be. Uh, uh, this is a quote for Michael Jordan. I, I don't know if you if you heard this quote. He says, uh, he says, uh, talent win games, mm -hmm. but team work and intelligence wins win championships. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So work hard, play hard. I think that that's it. Definitely. Um, thank you so much for being here. I, uh, I, and I, I and I believe that you know what you share today will add some value in someone's life. It's going to be impactful in, in one way or the other. Your knowledge, your wisdom, and your, your experiences um, will do definitely come across on this on this episode. And I appreciate your time. So thank you so much for making the time to be here. Again, thanks, uh, thanks to you, Jacob, for the space and, and your valuable time. I appreciate it. And hopefully we, we talk soon. I hope. Bye. Thank you. Thank you to listeners. Bye.